Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we will be unbagging the, I almost said April, the May Ipsy bag. So super freaking cute. Um, and yeah, I do these every month. Um, I have the monthly subscription of Ipsy um, and I love it every month. So if you like that, definitely give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more. And yes, without further ado, let's just get started. So, <laughs> usually I go over the products from the month before and then talk about the products I got this month. So we're just going to do that like normal. So um, I'm going to be doing this video fast because I'm a little behind like editing and uploading. I know who would have thought, but I am. So anyway, um, April last month was full bloom um, and they actually did give you all the products this um, that month. Keep remember that. <laughs> um, so the first product on it here I got was the Seraphine Botanicals Berry and Juice Vegan Lip Gel in Rose Current. I like this. It's pretty nice. I like it more as like a lip oil kind of thing, like before bed or like right before I apply my makeup. I put it on my lips, do my makeup, and then apply like my actual lip color um, because I feel like it's just so lightweight. It's not really a gloss, and I don't know if that's their intention for it to be a gloss anyway because this is a lip gel. So it's a very weird formula. It's nothing I'd go tell you to run out and buy, but um, it was nice to get in a bag. It was, it's all right. I don't like the smell. It smells like old berries. <laughs> and so I don't know if mine maybe is bad, um, but it smells like old berries. It doesn't smell like berry to me. <laughs> Next is the Aromatica Calendula Juicy Cream. Um, so I actually used this a handful of times, maybe like two or three actually. <laughs> Um, but it's um, I, I really really like it so far. It hasn't broken me out. So I really am I'm glad, really happy about that um, I actually am about to finish up my um, Moisturizer probably like in tomorrow the one I'm using so that's why I haven't used this too much But once that one's done, I'm gonna be using this and I'm really excited about that It has no smell. That's what it was. It has no smell And so it just goes like it's I was thinking back to when I applied it yesterday I had used it and it just it just was so smooth and I was like I forgot I even used it because it just like it just works, you know, it doesn't do anything magical, it doesn't smell funny, nothing like that, it just works. And so, um, I really like this. I'm really glad I, that I got that in the bag. Um, and then I got the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in the shade Golden Beige. Beige. This literally made the entire bag. Um, it's only, I think it's only $8. Yeah, it's only $8 in real life, so that's awesome. I can repurchase it, and I probably will because I love it. It's a pretty close to dupe to the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Creamy Concealer, and it's less, it's, it's a fraction of the cost. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited about it. I really love it so far, and I've been using it basically for a month straight because I love it that much. Alright, next was two face masks. I actually used them both. And I, again, I love those face masks. Honestly, I almost thought about adding, I think they had like a flash sale or something like that. And like where you can buy them. I think they had them in there and I almost, I thought about it. I was like, Marissa, you don't need to. But I thought about it. <laughs> um, I was really, I really enjoyed those masks. It was a brightening one and a, um, uh, something else kind of one. A relaxing one. Oh, calming and brightening. It was, it's the J. Jun USA essential sheet mask set i think that's how you say it it was calming and brightening and it was so bomb they were so good if you get them and you like put them aside i know a lot of people have a lot of sheet masks if you got them and you put them aside i would go out and try them because they're so good um i would go grab them and try them <laughs> not buy them i meant um because oh yeah all right and then last was the buxom lash mascara this mascara literally i don't really like it it literally does like nothing it just coats black on your lashes and I'm not a super huge fan. Um, yeah, I have to use it in combination with mascaras. And it's just like, come on. It's really annoying because I've gotten so many mascaras. And you'll see, again. Um, but I, I got a little ma a mascara set from Sephora. And I really, really wanted it. I want to try on those mascaras. But then I get like these in Ipsy's and different subscription boxes. And I'm like, Phew. and like a bad, I don't want to use a bad mascara, you know. So I'm going to try to use it as much as I can. Um, I'm not going to just toss it, but it's super annoying <laughs> all right and then i added on um another i added on a lighter shade of the koki concealer but i ended up giving that to my friend because um it was too light for me and this will, shade works perfectly fine again it's the shade golden beige and then this is the luxie 209 large shader brush i love this brush i used it today for my um shimmer on the lower lash line and it looks beautiful i'm obsessed it's so cute um i will forever add on luxie brushes <laughs> And oh, this was the bag design, which was so freaking cute. I was obsessed. I love 
it love it so all in all last month's bag was a total hit i was totally obsessed i loved it last month um i think i think that's it the only like two like i think some of these products are not super exciting. The, the, the most exciting was the Koki concealer and definitely those face masks. I really love those. Um, this was kind of like a good, it's a good product. It's not a bad product, but it's not exciting. And then these two were kind of just like, whatever. Like, I want a, if I want a lip gloss, I want a real lip gloss. If I'm going to get a lip gloss, I want a real lip gloss, not this like weird thing. And then if I want a mascara, I want a good mascara, Do you know? Because mascara is like not exciting in general because it's usually all the same, all black. <laughs> um, but... If you want to spice it up, either give me like a color, that would be fun, or give me a good mascara. That's gonna spice it up, you know? But whatever. The designs though, Ipsy's designs have been A1 recently, like A1. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into this month's bag. Super cute, I'm obsessed. It, this just screams summer and I live for it. They have been killing it with their bag designs and I'm kudos to you, Ipsy kudos to you because usually they fall off a bit I, and I'm thinking I think I saw some spoiler for June's Ipsy and I was like mm, mm, they might be starting but this one is so cute so they were doing really really well and the inside is yellow it's so cute and I don't like yellow and this is speaking to me and honestly I don't really love pink but this is super cute obsessed all right let's get into those products girl all right we have an issue so Ipsy this month's Ipsy's get that glow um, a new season is finally on the horizon. Let the excitement in the air spark new ideas like sunset lids or megawatt highlighters and bask in every light you found ready and every and bask in every light you find. Ready to get glowing? Um <laughs> I'm 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 I love this. I love that glow. I've been all obsessed with that glow <laughs> recently. So actually this does not have the stuff on the inside, which I do find annoying. I wish the stuff was in here, but I did see that a lot of people, like as I saw in baggings, I saw that they weren't gonna have it, so I figured it wouldn't, it wouldn't be in here. I saw something about like Boxy Charm. Um, I think it was Boxy Charm. They wanted for their boxes, they wanted to send out the boxes right away, and they couldn't wait for the papers to print or something like that, or something that sounds ridiculous. But I think that might be the same. Like they wanted to get these out as soon as possible because you know shipping's behind and stuff with the whole thing that's going on right now. And so I think they probably wanted to just send the bag out without trying to wait for all the stuff, even though there's a lot of stuff in here. But think about it because they have to personalize your bag then print out the things to your personalization. It's probably a lot harder than just doing this to everybody's, you know? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm making excuses for them. <laughs> Let's jump into product numero uno. This is the um, Smile for Cause Peach Blossom Organic Lip Balm. I like a good lip balm. I do. And this is a good size. I th believe it's full size. That's regular. And I haven't smelled it yet, actually. Ooh, it smells just like peaches. It's really nice. Let me take my lip products off. Ooh, that's really smooth, like super smooth. It just smoothed off. <laughs> it just crumbled off. That is really nice. Oh my gosh, this is like, okay. I love a good lip oil because a lip oil is like a combination between a chapstick and like a lip gloss. It gives you that like nice feeling, but it's like not sticky like a lip gloss. And this is like that. And this is a lip balm. Okay, so it says, um... A, uh, well why you love it a lip balm that makes your lip looks and taste juicy we're here for it i agree i love it and it smells delicious actually i'm gonna have to bring this with me today um it's infused with real peach oil to your lips and scent that you won't be able to get enough of i'm already at that point so the full size it, this is full size and it's 4.99 five bucks for a, a chapstick maybe that's regular i don't know i feel like I don't know, I feel like I could get a pack of three for five bucks. But I don't know, if it's this good, the way I'm feeling that it is this good, I guess that's 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 worth it. I really like that so far. Alright, I feel like that's enough. I don't need to read more about the um, chapstick. It's just chapstick, bro. It feels delicious, looks delicious. I'm about it. Alright, next is this, um, it's the Farah. which one are you? blender brush 25 large blender 25 el brush i really love fair brushes so far i've had I, they've all been hits for me um i think i've gotten one or two before but either way i really really like them i love and again i love any brushes that i get from ipsy so if you're new here now you know i love every single brush i get and this one is so freaking cute i'm obsessed oh my gosh yes 
yes um it says why you'll love it when it comes to creating a beautiful smoky eye this blending brush is just as important as a palette full of pretty shadows that's true um firm bristles short brush heads whatever cruelty free vegan for those of you who are curious Oh, it's an Ipsy exclusive. That's irritating. Why do they do that? Why do they? I don't know why they make things Ipsy exclusives. Like, don't you think? Wouldn't it be smarter? My head. If I'm doing a, if I have a brand, I want to put stuff in subscription boxes that are so bomb that people want to buy it and come to my website and buy them. But like, if it's an Ipsy exclusive, you can't get it anywhere else. So why do they do that? I don't understand. Um, it is full size and it's ten dollars. Again, that's a lot for a freaking brush um you can get well okay it's average for a higher end not higher end brushes but for like certain brushes but like you can get elf brushes for like three dollars you don't need this one but um it's super cute by the way obsessed so far we have two hits here two hits i'm loving all right next is the pure lease matcha green tea and lemon detoxifying charcoal masks i'm happy they didn't send me a cleanser or moisturizer um because they usually do i get one or the other so they kind of switched it up with a mask and i like that um it says need proof that you don't need to spend a ton of time or money on a facial on a facial to reset your skin meet this powerful 15 minute mask oh that's cool um this mask helps protect and nourish your skin thanks to antioxidant rich green tea i'm excited to try this it says detoxifying ginger and brightening lemon work together to fight free radicals and give your skin a healthy glow um thank you pure least that sounds amazing um it's not full size it doesn't tell me though how much the fat full size is um but i know it's definitely not full size anyway i'm excited to try this this sounds amazing and i only i think i have another mask that um i have one other mask but i really want to try this i'm scared with charcoal masks because they are tend to be really drying on my dry skin and i don't love that but this sounds like it's since, since it's brightening or whatever it might be all right oh yeah and it's not like the gray charcoal oh it has like beads in it oh my gosh that sounds great and it smells good oh my gosh i'm obsessed okay i want to put on the mask right now <laughs> i'm in love so far so good yes please all right next is i'm waiting for it to load but next is the tarte h2o gloss um in the shade hang 10 i'm gonna put it on as well so you guys can see um i've i think i've tried a tarte h2o gloss before or something but i don't know i was really excited when i saw these in the bag because first of all i love a good gloss and i love tarte so it just seemed like perfect honestly it smells so good So these are this oh my gosh why does this look delicious it looks so good on camera oh my gosh it looks so good in person too it is a pink ear gloss so it does it's not gonna match with this look too well but it is um um it is stickier than most of my glosses and that's probably why people don't like rave about it well what the heck is on me that's probably like why people don't talk about it too much because it is a little bit stickier and a little bit heavier than like most of my glosses but it's still gorgeous and like if you get it in your bag it's not a bad product you know what i'm saying um, so it says, we found it a gloss you can wear every day, all day, and glam up your night. Yeah, it's a very glam gloss. Like, there's not very many of those. Because you either have a super pigmented gloss, I don't love those, or you have a super sheer gloss that kind of is just really nothing. But this is a very glam gloss because I feel like, first of all, it's going to last pretty long because how sticky it is. Um, it's not super sticky, but I just mean because of the stickiness it has. It'll probably last longer than other glosses because it won't just still dissolve away. It'll stay on your lips. Um, but... Two coats of this lightweight gloss gives your lips mirror-like shine, but without any of the annoying stickiness or gooeyness. It is a little bit sticky tart. Hate to break it to you. You can even see the string sometimes when I talk. Yep. Right there. <laughs> um, but it is super glossy, and really that mirror-like shine is the truth. It looks gorgeous. Its animal-friendly formula is 100% vegan and cruelty-free. Again, that's awesome. I know a lot of people have been like, more cautious about that um it's not full size it's one milliliter milliliter but it doesn't tell me how much it actually is so um that's that's cool i'm i'm i'm, I'm excited about that all right and last but not least the product that i chose um is this benefit roller lash mascara i have a billion little baby mascaras let me just show you i have these three baby mascaras open and i have three in here and now i have another one i mean like i'll be stocked up for life 
so it's fine <laughs> but i'm just like sheesh bro everyone's sending me mascaras or or you know i bought a lot of mascaras too anyway i want to try this one i know this is a lot of people holy pop a lot of people's holy grails so i do want to try this one i'm obviously not going to try it today because um i have so many open but soon i will try it and i will let you guys know what i think about it um all right so it says late nights netflix rom-com binges cute cat vids there's nothing this water resistant mascara can't handle oh it's water resistant i didn't know that need proof it won't budge just whatever they have some statistics this is three grams um it's made with a curve setting formula that conditions your lashes and keep them keeps them curled for 12 hours that's a big claim bro that's a big claim but you know um I, i'm not gonna try but that's exciting to get in a bag i did pick that product um they didn't have too many options that like i really wanted and so i was just like let's go with a mascara um so so far everything everything i'm really really excited for i do wish again to me um these three are not th these three products are not super makeup e products you know what i mean like i feel like a foundation a concealer a bronzer a setting powder any of those are like more makeup-y of course the lip products are fine but a gloss um this one is a really good one actually so i'm i'm not talking about this one too much but in general like a clear gloss and stuff like that i just like come on that's basic same with a black mascara although i really want to try this one it's just a black mascara like i want something different i want something more makeup-y and so i'm really happy with this bag i just am hoping ipsy steps it up a little little bit um and then these two are definitely not makeup products but i'm excited for them so i guess it works and then i added on two products i added on another sl miss glam brush this is my favorite blush these are my favorite brushes that ipsy gives and i add them on every time i see them I have this one let's see if I have all my babies I had previously these three brushes and then so I just added on this one and I'm so excited they're all so freaking cute and I like how they don't repeat the brushes so they're just different all different and so I'm really excited I had to add it on and then I also added this little baby Tarte jelly glaze anytime lip mask i figured it wouldn't be full size but i didn't think it would be it's short it's shorter than my freaking pinky okay it's maybe like my pinky's leg but that is small so i took on my lip gloss again so that i could apply this one it does come with a little baby seal it's so small but the only thing that is gonna annoy me is that like usually when they have these products they have like the flat side so you can put it on this is weird because it's like a tube Ugh. yeah i have to use my finger um it smells so freaking good it's in the i have the sh it's strawberry jelly one. Oh my gosh it smells delicious okay you can definitely tell like you're wearing a little thing but it's kind of like a tinted i mean it's like kind of like a sheer your lips are better kind of gloss okay i love this this is really good too i'm really excited i added that on <laughs> three dollars for this though sheesh tart you couldn't have given me a little bit more product there's only three grams oh there's three grams in it well i guess it's super tiny anyway i am so excited about all these products guys the, this bag was really really good um is it my top favorite bag no i don't think so we'll do i think in june we'll do like a quarterly update of or sorry a half update halfway update of the year of ipsy so that we can talk about that kind of stuff if you guys want to see that video definitely let me know um because a lot of these i love i just don't know like in comparison to all the rest of them i don't think this was my favorite but anyway so far i love it um the quote for today is be strong because things will get better it may be stormy now but it never it will never rain forever and it's so true have hope guys have faith and have hope that's it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye guys